Dear day everyone, Frosty's back with another guide. It's been a month long hiatus since my last one, but we're back to date with an old classic, Glacial Trail. So let's grab Striker Jones and get stuck right into it. Start with a dart in the top corner here, setting it to strong. And I drew it in the alcove. Add an engineer next to the dart on round 9. Upgrading it to center gun on round 11. Placements are fairly tight over for the right side here, so try to get them tucked in as much as you can. Add a mer monkey up as high and right as you can for round 14. And then switch your engineer to strong for round 15, upgrading it to faster engineering. This should hold all the way to round 18, where you'll swap your dart back to first and upgrade it to spiker bolt. Skip ahead now to round 22, where you'll place a spactory in the back three as far down and right as it will go. Complement it by finally picking up Striker Jones in between the Mer Monkey and the Spactory for round 24. Follow up by upgrading to Smart Spikes for round 26, setting it to Smart, then upgrading your Druid to Hard Thorns and setting it to Strong for round 28, as Striker can't clear the leads by himself. Move on to round 30 to plop down a Mortar on the bottom left sheet, setting it to the first loop. Grab long life spikes before round 33 to play it safe, and then bigger stacks on round 35. Finally grabbing deadly spikes after round 37. Before the Moab, upgrade your Mer Monkey to Abyss Dweller with Echo Sense, then chuck a concussive shell on the Moab and cruise through. Continue on now to round 42. We'll upgrade the Dart to Juggernaut with middle cross pathing. Skip ahead a little to round 45 now to place a discount village in range of your mortar, then upgrade the mortar to signal flare. Give the Mer Monkey Abyssal Warrior come round 48, and the Engineer Sentry Champion with deconstruction on round 50. Place an Alchemist down on the bottom right sheet in range of the Spac 3 for round 52, upgrading it to Berserker Brew with Perishing Potions. You'll need it for round 53. You can now chill all the way up to round 59, we'll upgrade your dart to an Ultra Juggernaut. This will hold for a good bit, but the problems start to appear once it gets frozen. To counteract it, you'll be activating concussive shells on the BFBs, ideally at least 2-3 times off cooldown to play it safe. Move ahead to round 71 now, grabbing another mortar, upgrading this one to the big one with Bernie stuff cross pathing, targeting the first loop. 75 once again poses quite a problem, so keep concussive shelling off cooldown to clear the BFBs. 76 shouldn't be a problem unless you're unlucky, so chuck a concussive shell in there as well to play it really safe. Otherwise, this will save all the way up to perma spike during round 79, so grab that and white hot spikes as well as jungle drums on your village. Again, to play it super safe during round 80, keep up the concussive shells to let the spike pile grow. You'll be fine again until round 85, where again you'll rain concussive shells as much as possible. Your spike pile will need to tank this one, so the more time that you buy, the easier it gets. A concussive shell on 86 does wonders, which will give back Ultra Juggernaut again. I'd recommend concussive shelling on round 87, at least a shell or two at the start to play it safe. I don't, but I'm forced to do it later because, I mean, look at those BFPs and ZMGs, I can't let that hit the spike pile, I'll die! Keep shelling the ZMGs for round 88. The BFPs for round 89. And afford the biggest one come round 92. After round 92, grab a mob glue with globs, setting it to strong. Then finally cross path your other mortar with faster firing. This absolutely shreds the next few rounds, so move on to round 96 to again concussive shell the ZOMGs a few times. If you don't, you'll have to micro the mortar to the bottom ring to catch the remnants, so save yourself the hassle. These last few rounds might seem like a bit of a hassle, but keep shelling off cooldown to prevent your spikes from getting hit. The lazier you are, the more chance of a restart. You'll finish up the build with a Lord of the Abyss come round 98, which should clear up the remnants easily. On round 100, you'll have to do absolutely nothing. If you've kept your spike pile safe, it should be all good. The bad will run into it, and that's GG. 
Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.